what gets me to do it, the motivation is the ability to grow quickly. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's a, I, you, I, you know what? I love you for that sentence. Like that's a big deal to acknowledge that because I'll be honest with you. I love that as a entree, but you have to basically spend all your time getting out of that mindset because it's similar to being in the room with the Legos. The judgment of others and calibrating it is everything. The reason real celebrities hate social media is they don't want the insecurity of low numbers and TikTok's working. Right, absolutely. Feel I know. that all the time. I live like you, to watch you look it. and you, you see something going down and I have a group of friends and we go, we are getting, we, you know, people will just <laughs> text me all the time. What is the algorithm doing? And I'm like, I, I don't know. I've just, I've started to just give up on that and throw, I would hide. I used to hide the low number ones. And then I looked around at some of the, I, I realized a lot of people are doing that. A lot of people are deleting, hiding. Perception, and I just went, reality. You know what? Screw it. No, Whatever. Frank, nobody gives you... a shit at the end. Yeah. In the end, nobody gives a shit. Yeah. I. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I. I just. It for me, it's hard to because they're. It's trying to go my, from an my, old mindset my, of what we used to look my, at. Here's my thing. My biggest thing is, you have so much creative talent. I'm devastated that you overthinking something may stop you from making your signature piece of work. Well, that's where I'm getting to this point. That's where I'm getting to a point is I'm getting to a point where I've said, I'm just gonna start throwing a lot more stuff out there. I've heard you talking about it. I've heard and by others. the way, it's not spray and pray and throw against the wall and see what sticks. Right. These are actual thoughts in your mind and you're gonna put them out. That's yeah, a big yeah. difference. A lot of people are like, oh, it's garbage, Gary. You talk about volume and quantity, but that's at the expense of quality. I'm like, who gets to judge quality? <laughs> commenters, <audience>. commenters. <laughs> that just... But but that's why it needs to go out. You right. know, we, you know, and I think, I, listen, I just think it's an incredible time to be creative and I'm pumped um, that you're putting the pieces together to get there in a world where you've got 40 plus years to give. Well, you don't know me that well. We'll see how long. I don't, lasts. but I, but I, <laughs> when I say that, I really genuinely believe it. And you're in a craft, unlike athletes. When I say that, you know, and we're of the same age, Milton Berle, right? You go, Jack, you know, you know, like all the, you start going into these names, right? Where you know George Burns, you know, Bob Hope. Like these all were old fuckers when we were kids, but they were still doing right. their thing. Right. Yeah. I mean, I've had. Uh, by the way. Are you on a time? Yeah, I, I should have left three minutes ago, but I'm enjoying myself, and I'm literally texting my team, my business client to wait a few seconds. Okay, uh, then I'll get to the wrap up here. So, yeah, go ahead. I, go ahead. Listen, listen, I just, um, to me, I found that emotion, and not even always trying to be funny, people people find emotion on the internet, uh, especially on TikTok, and they gravitate toward that. I did this Robin Williams thing that I was just like, mm -hmm. you know, I miss him. Oh my God, where is it? You know, that kind of thing, and people went crazy for that. And it's just a learning experience. It's trying to find out even what people, you know, for taking myself out of the internet for a while and then getting back just to see. Hey, Frank. What actually worked and what it was. Frank, think of it this way. I'm gonna give you something. I'm gonna give you a prescription on my way out. And I think it's gonna work for you. I really mean it. Make one for them, because that's what you're talking about right now. Make right. one for them and then just make one for yourself every time. Two pills a day. One for them, one for you. One for them, one for you. Because I promise you, brother, on my fucking heart and soul, the one that you make for yourself is gonna be the one that changes everything. My man, you're giving me all the cliche answers. Like ch charge, charge shipping. Work 18 hours a day. You know how you make more? Like people are like, yo, Gary Vee, I made three thousand dollars on eBay this month. How do I make more? I'm like, how much did you work? They're like, oh, like I don't know, like nine hours. I'm like, cool. Work 18 hours. Work, right. work 36 hours. Work 72 hours. Work 144 so hours. Work 288 so hours. I'm just working in my head and just do. Yeah, dude. That's you just honestly stay right there. You just cracked it. And if I can get you to actually believe it and not just say it. You're in your fucking mm -hmm. head, you're debating, you're playing life in your head, not actually living it. Right, and that's what I hate, cause it's like, I know it's exactly what to do, it's just like that push. Like, I don't wanna wait till something bad happens. To you do. are though, you know what you're I'm being saying? passive. <sighs>
I gotta change that. Cause, the bigger question is why. The bigger question is, this is why I got myself into the whole do you give a f- about other people's opinions, you know? Right. The biggest thing young people get caught up on is like they'll make 400 bucks flipping and then they'll go buy some new off whites. Yeah, and and that and that's the thing too. Cause like I don't want to be caught up in that mix. Like I started just, I bought, I made my own shirt, so I just wear my shirts every day. <laughs> Good. But so Good. I, I'm just I not, like I'm not trying to like. Yeah, get man. Into listen, all listen. That stuff. The the person that flosses last wins. Hmm. Damn. That was <laughs> tough. It's super that tough because tough. everybody. If you look at everybody, the reason you reacted that way is because everybody's playing it the reverse. Right. I right. was and it, I anti-flossed in my 20s. I didn't buy anything. I didn't go out. I didn't do anything. Yeah. And I put down foundation. Too, uh, damn. And, and that's the thing that I learned from you was like, I started to realize like, damn, do I really need to go to the club? Do I really need to go to that and you, party? And you know so, what, I'll, I'll tell you what happens. That, you know, now you watch a little Gary V, you get a little motivated, you decide to actually work on Friday night, but then you wake up Saturday, right? And you're feeling good, mm-hmm. and then you grab your phone and you go on Instagram, and the first thing you see is your boys or the people that you look up to in the club, pretty girls, right. jewelry, money, and, money and, and all of a sudden, you're FOMO out. Yeah. I think I think I get a little bit of that. I do, but it's like I try not to like worry about it because it's like, damn, I got Gary V motivating me, but then I got my mom telling me to go back to school. Like that, is, like I'm Your just mom's in the wrong. middle I'm so right. much. Yeah. Man, what are you gonna do I'm with just... school? Explain to me and what's happening what with you in fucking school. I don't... <laughs> where the f- are you going? Know, and was... where you're gonna collect debt from some <laughs> college and get no f- job because of it? Exactly. Get your mom on the f- exactly. phone. Let me talk to your mom. Nah, I'm, she's not with me right okay, now. Okay. I'm in, uh, I'm on vacation. Okay. <laughs> what are you on vacation for, man? <laughs> yo, listen, just, we're, yo, yo, do me a favor. Email That's Gary at VaynerMedia. You're coming here, you're spending one day here. You're coming here. All right. You're coming to VaynerMedia one day. I'm gonna put you with the crew. I need to get you f***ing rewired. All right. All right. Okay. Gary at VaynerMedia. Uh, See ya. And what I put in the title? Say I'm the dude that's gonna get rewired. <laughs> Back. All right. All right, man. See ya. All right. That's a great way. I'm, those one more phone calls always work out. I want that whole video on YouTube. Yo, Instagram. What you think about that? But what's amazing about that is that phone call is 90% of it. And by the way, everybody who's like razzing in the comments, that's just his way of communicating. Valley girls got that. Yeah, that's like bro dude, frat dudes got that. Like, the, like emo dudes got that. He like, most of us. Yeah, he did it like in the culture, urban dude voice and terminology and vibe. But don't judge everybody because all of you are doing the same sh- your way. Colorado skiing dudes doing this. Like, ju- don't judge everyone. Sh- 99. I'm watching. You. I'm watching you, and 99% of you are playing that same game. You may use different adjectives, different terminology, you might have different kinds of friends and circumstances, but in your dome, in your framework, in your execution, that's you. 99% of you. many of you are not taking action because you overthink it. You overthink it. You overthink it. I always say deploy your resources that you can afford to lose. A lot of you don't have the dollars. I used to not have the dollars, but I had my time. The reason I punted my 20s was because I didn't have money or I didn't have a lot of it. You know, a lot of you hear about the $3 million business. I love when people like try to rag on me and say, oh, if everybody has $3 million business. I mean, every single kid that gets $500,000 in startup, which was millions, had more dollar resources than I had. We didn't have dollars. Business did $3 million. It made $300,000 in profit in selling $3 million worth of liquor, and then it still had to pay expenses. And my dad took home his salary. Like, we had no money. But I had my time. And I would test things and I stayed up. I didn't punt my 20s for kicks and giggles. I punted them because the only resource I had was my time. And so I had to work 18 hours a day because it's what I had. Got it? 
So taking action is, especially if it doesn't cost you money and it's just time, is always a better answer than pondering or thinking or trying to decide if this is gonna work. You don't know. The learning of the failure is as equal to the victory of it, right? The learning, the things I've learned in my 20 years, the reason I'm so advanced as a business person in my own mind is not only have I worked a lot, but I've, you know, this work hard, work smart thing, I've worked smart. And one of the smartest things I do as an entrepreneur and a business person is I do things so I can understand whether they work or not. You can't just sit here and say, is this gonna work or not? Debate it your whole life, never do it, and then not know the answer. Like you don't know. Like one of two great things happened. One, you did it and it worked and you made money and you won and you got accolades and it worked. Wine Library TV, it worked. The Wine Library, the classes that I was gonna do or trying to think of things that fail. It's like, you know, so another thing is I just forget them so quickly. I'll work on this. I'll, you know, India, I wanna do like top 11 things I did at Wine Library that didn't work. Local van delivery at scale I never did. You know, so like, so, so one of two things happen. Either it works and you make money, the email service, it worked. Or it doesn't and you're like, well I'm not gonna do that again. But this whole like indecisiveness, when you can do it. If you don't have the money, you can't do it, so what the f are you thinking about it for? You know, I wonder if I buy a building in New York City, will it go up in value? I wonder. The answer is, it's gonna work, but guess what? I don't have $400 million liquid to buy a an Empire State Building type building, because you can't even buy that for 400,000. You know, 400 million. You know, so like, this is, this is an interesting question. The answer is no. I've never failed because of indecisiveness. I've only failed because I've done stuff, but I'd argue that I didn't really fail. I learned, I might have micro failed, but I macro won.